So the fifth test is labography and always we give you some suggestion. The suggestion now is to remove all the cone sets of the device. So we have just to work in this condition. Only the PCB and the camera exactly in front of our patient. I turn again the, the device and I start labography. Okay, start. So starting mabography, uh, remember that now you don't have just to select right eye or left eye, but we have right upper and lower or left upper and lower. Of course, we can analyze all the leads. It depends by the, the, the use of the, of the doctor. So I will do a right lower detection. Very important, you can dim a bit the zoom, maybe instead to keep it at 50, you can move it to 80 or to 70, just to stay a bit far from the patient. Very important, the position of the patient. And my suggestion when you do mabography is to ask to the patient to look up to the fixation point. So in this way the lid is getting much more soft and tender and easier to be uh, turned. So I just clean a bit my hands. You can use your finger or you can use a cotton bud. It depends by how the doctor is more comfortable. To be honest, I'm much more comfortable with finger than um, uh, to use a cotton bud. So, again, we tilt a bit the device, we don't push on the, on the patient, look up, and remember the, mo the movement you should do is not pulling down. If you pull down, you're hiding meibomian glands, and I hope you can see that in your picture. Just move a bit up, so you can see. Look in my screen, if I pull down, the lid is not averted. If instead to pull, I push, this is what happens. So the lid is coming out, oh, and so here you can see all the gland system. And then you can take a picture with the foot pen. So once the picture is taken, if you want, of course, we can do select eye, we can do the other one, so we are going to the other eye, just do to me biography because maybe it's an interesting argument, so I push out the lead. Okay. And I take a picture. So this picture is very nice. Maybe we can tap on these. Oh, remember that any picture you take inside the software is possible to be moved and shifted inside the patient and inside the same patient. So let me say, I want to say that this picture we took is not a left eye, but is a right eye. If you push it on the, with the right click, you can change the, the kind of examination you took, or you can, you can just change the eye. So we are going to make a right eye and the software will shift the picture on the other side. So this is our picture, how to analyze it. I can analyze it with the green button as always. The software automatically enlightens the area of the lead, so it's suggesting a lead area, and actually it's full automatic. If you don't like this kind of uh, detection, you can retake it, you can draw it manually with this button you find on the left lower corner. So we push on that button, and we go to draw by ourselves exactly the area where we want to make the analysis. So automatically the software is going to do the analysis of meibomian glands. It's detecting quite a big loss over here. That um, is saying that 19% is lost. But let's see what we can do. We have three different options. We can do, okay, the full automatic one. Then we can have a semi-automatic detection. So you will find semi-automatic here. And now, semi-automatic means I am the professionist and I know where my bombing glands are standing. So instead to let the software detect the glands all over the lead, I will suggest just an area in which my bombing glands are alive. So it's a kind of double selection and the software will look from the gland only in the green area, but we consider the lead area as uh, um, we will we'll may will will take the red area as the lead. So in this case, if we make an, a semi-automatic detection, you can see that the the value is quite um, raised, and the value now is twenty-seven percent. 
So remember, you can make a full automatic, a semi-automatic, or you can make a manual editing of the glands. So if you want, you can find plus and minus on the bottom left. If you push on minus, you can say, mm, okay, in my opinion, this is not a gland, and you can remove this gland. And if you see, is you're raised up to 32%. Or you can push on plus, and you can say, no, this was a gland, was my mistake, and this was a gland, was my mistake. And then, if you want to accept it, you have to go next. So now we have 26% of your salary. We can save the value on the top right, and after save, you will find the 3D button. So you have the 3D button over here, you can push, and we have three different views in 3D of Maybomian glands. You have a single view of Maybomian glands like this, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can rotate it, you can do whatever you want to explain to the patient. You have a second view with the lead in the background, so the blue area is the lead and the white will be Maybomian glands. Otherwise, you can see an, an anatomic 3D picture on the real picture of our patient, showing Maybomian glands in 3D on the real picture we took. So it's quite impressive, it's a very nice tool to explain the pathology to your patient and to explain where is the dropout, let's see, like here, okay, you see this channel that is going to, um, it means that here you don't have glands, etc, etc. So it's a very nice commercial tool to explain to the patient what's going on.